Now, what we want is just like color switch, whenever we press the mouse button, we want to be able to push the ball up. All right, so let's go ahead and create that script. I'm going to, uh, to select the sphere, I'm going to right click, and inside of it, I'm going to create a new uh, script. Um, so one quick way is to click on add component, and here I can select script or new script, and then I'm, I'm gonna put a name, and that would be a player uh, script. Okay, why player script? Because it's for moving the player, which is the ball. I know it's a sphere, but it's still a player script. So create and add. All right, so now I'm going to double click on the player script to open it with MonoDevelop. If you're on a PC, Windows PC, you might be able to open it with uh, Visual Studio. It's up to you at this point. Um, what matters is that we can program that. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And, and uh, what do we want to do here? We want to apply some physics forces on the ball whenever the mouse is down. So um, we don't uh, need the, the update and the start, so I'm just going to remove them for now. And what we need is called the fixed update. Now, you may be wondering what is the fixed update and why it's not the update method, because the fixed update has to do with the physics. The update happens every cycle of the, uh, the game, every time there's a new frame, but the fixed update is every time there's a new engine of physics engine renderer. So just type void fixed update. And as you can see, it's uppercase F and uppercase U. Right? And now, just for the sake of learning, we're going to press the mouse button down and just display a message to the, the log. So if input dot um, get mouse button down, and that would be the button down zero, which is the, the left mouse click. So if we have that, then we are going to print debug.log and say mouse button down. So basically it's a click, or uh, AKA click. Okay, also known as click. All right, so far so good. Pull a semicolon at the end, save this. And make sure it's attached to the script. And you can save also um, the, the, the scene instead of Unity. And now I'm going to press play and I'm going to the console here. And whenever I, I tap here, look, it says mouse button down. Yes. So every time I click, I have a mouse button down in the console. All right. So, so far, so good. But that's not what we want. We want to apply a force so that it moves up. And how do we do this? Well, we need to call what's called adding some force. OK, so there are two ways. Um, when it's down, we can either add force upward or, or add an impulse upward. Now, the difference between a force and an impulse is that the force is independent of the weight. However, the, uh, the impulse um, is uh, directly proportional to the mass. Now, I don't want to get too uh, complex into the physics, but the difference here means that um, the, the bigger the object is, the more the, the, the more amount should be the impulse. So okay, so it, the force doesn't it doesn't matter if your if your um, if the body is big or small, the force will be the same. So it's pretty better in this case to use the force so that we don't know how big the sphere is. And how do we do that? Well, we can do this dot, and now we're going to apply the force. So to uh, to add force, we have to use the uh, rigid body 2D. So one way could be uh, to get the rigid body of this object. So how do we get the rigid body? Well, there's many ways. We can just get it in the, in the start or we can assign it. Now, um, one way to get it in the start is to add it here. So we could do rigid body 2D um, body. Okay, so we, we created it and uh, let's make it public. And now let's create the start method to get it. Void start. And let's get the rigid body. So body is equal to get component, and the component is the rigid body 2D. And that's it. We have it now. Now, how this will only work if you have a rigid body 2D assigned to the sphere. Why? Because if you don't have that rigid body 2D on the sphere, it will not work. There is no way it will work. Okay, so right now I have some errors, so I need to go back to the script and see what the error is. Yes, is that. So let me just 
put this away so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Right. So if I click on the sphere, you have to have this rigid body. If you don't, then it cannot get the component and it will be null in the script. All right. OK. So now that we have the rigid body, we can say if body is different than null, so technically, if we do have a rigid body, then what do we do? Let's add some force. So body dot add force. And the force needs to be a vector 2D. And it's going to be upwards. So that would be vector 2 dot up. All right? And we can do times, um, uh, let's call this one uh, intensity. OK? Now, we do not have the intensity yet. So let's create that. I'm going to come here before the public and do public float intensity. And is equal to, let's, let's go by default, is equal to 1. All right, and let's save that. All right, so now it's going to add the force of war times one. Let's, um, let's go in Unity and try this out. I'm going to press play. And now I'm going to, uh, to click. And as I, as I click, not much is happening here. And the reason why we don't see much happening is that maybe the, the intensity is just not enough to, to push it up. So we can play with the intensity and multiply this. Let's say with uh, 100 and see if uh, that does anything. Let's, let's try now. And still, now it's starting to work. You guys see that? It's moving up. It's not that great, but it's moving up. So you can play with the intensity. I'm going to do 1,000, and let's see if that works. All right, so 1,000 works a lot better, but it's a lot more, right? So we need to play and find, you know, find the right intensity. Let's go with 200 and see. All right, 200 isn't too bad. Probably a little bit more than 200, right? So let's go with, let's say, 400. So you know you have to judge basically on what you have, OK? All right, 400 isn't too bad at all. OK, so I'm going to stay with 400. All right. OK, so now that I know that 400 is good, I'm going to tap and actually do 420, just a little bit more. And that's how you deal with the intensity. All right, you can save that. And as you can see, we already have a game that, that is already working in the sense that we have the exact same mechanics as the mechanics of um, the color switch game. Now, something else you can do really quickly is also that every time the ball moves, you want the sphere, you want the camera to follow the, the, the sphere, right? And the best way to do that is to take the main camera and make it a child of the sphere by drag and dropping it inside of the sphere. All right? So now if I press play, check this out. It's going to move with it, as you can see. You guys see that? It's like it's moving with it, so which, which is good. I mean, right now it's hard to see, and uh, a good way to see that is to add some other objects. I can easily just go to my project and add more floors. You know, it's just drag and dropping in here. Now I'm going to just call this one cube or rectangle, okay? And I'm going to move it to another corner. Okay, I'm going to move it here so that it's easier to see. All right. And now if I press play, we'll see that it's moving with the camera. You guys ready? All right. You see, it's easier to see now. All right. So that's it now. It's moving with the camera. It's perfect to make games and be able to see what's happening. OK. Now, um, let's, um, let's think about what's next to do. We have um, to add different circles with different colors and different uh, bars and shapes to be able to go through. And we also have to add colors. So we want the ball to have different colors as well. And that we do in the next part.